take them reparations today. I just had to slide that in. Okay. With a vision, mm-hmm. creating a company that's now one of the fastest growing companies in the world, and he could take his business anywhere. I know Kevin Kanemitz would take him out in Baltimore County, and Kittleman would take him in Howard County. Quick, but he's here, and he's providing the city with an opportunity to grow in a whole different direction. And all of us, Marty Glaze from Commercial Terriers is here. All of us are just waiting for this month, excuse me, the month of August, when the city council will make the most important vote in their lives. And voting for this tax incremental financing, the TIF as they call it, this is the largest TIF ever, the second largest in the country. Well, I don't know about the country, but I know Baltimore City it is the largest ever. And the opportunity. When you say minority, you do mean black businesses. Well, Donnie. Because that, get, that gets muddied a lot of times. Well, Donnie. Arnold Jolivet told me to say black business. Bless him. I love him. I miss you, Arnold. But black businesses are significantly included. As a matter of fact, there are more African-American businesses certified in Baltimore City than any other subgroup. So by virtue of numbers, they should be the ones taking advantage of most of the opportunities.